Hey, I'm Sadie, and this is Insane Midnight Ramblings of a Narcoleptic Insomniac. So, if you don't know much about narcolepsy, it's this really fun neurological disease where you're just tired all the time until bedtime comes along, in which case you're still tired, but you just can't sleep. You could fall asleep pretty much anywhere else, but just not in your bed. So, yeah. Instead of laying in my bed wishing I was asleep um, and obsessing over the fact that I'm not, I decided I'm going to just talk to you guys for a few minutes just about what's on my mind and all that. So, here we go. It's Thanksgiving. I'm out of water. It's really dry in here because it's November. And it's Minnesota. Or it's Wisconsin. I'm in Wisconsin now. I grew up in Minnesota, so it's very weird. Um, but I like it. I, uh, we live right on Lake Superior. Which is just gorgeous. It is. She is. Amazing. Um, I love Mother Superior. That's what we call her. And now I sound like a hippie. But you know what? I kind of am. Just a little bit. Uh, my name is Sadie, which kind of um, came from the Beatles song, Sexy Sadie, which my dad was listening to apparently at some point when he was thinking of baby names. Uh, my sister almost got Prudence, but she didn't. My mom won that argument, but I have a sister, Kelsey, and, uh, he wanted to name her Prudence so that he could sing Dear Prudence to her, but my mom wanted to choose Kelsey, but I did end up with Sadie for Sexy Sadie, which luckily my father never sang to me. He doesn't sing, but at all. Uh, so I kind of was predestined to be a hippie. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. My lips are really dry. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go get some water. But I'm not gonna start this again, so enjoy my bookshelf. Okay. So, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. I've got a teddy bear now. This is Jamie, the main map builder bear at my ch child's uh, birthday party. Because I got three kids, and they are fantastic. And I live with their mom, who is my best friend and my platonic wife. And I call her my partner because she's not my girlfriend. I have a different girlfriend, but she is my life partner. And uh, then her boyfriend, whose name is Dave, and he's fun. He's a he's a cool guy. And then Dave's cousin Biscuit. And then I have three kids. And 
is yeah, that's that's my group. And I absolutely love it. I want to talk about my kids, but I also want to respect their privacy. So I'm going to make up nicknames for them. And uh, hopefully I don't forget them. So we got Red. I want to name them Red and Angry. Because they're a Tangled characters called Red and Angry. But uh, Red's the littlest. And she is five. And she's just... She's five and she's so smart. And she's just got super bright red hair. And she's a beautiful, beautiful girl. And then there are the twins. And their names are... Hmm. I want to give one the name Hermione because she's very bookish. She is the older of the two twins. And I never thought that with twins the birth order mattered. But she is definitely the big sister. Um, and she's the one taken care of and, you know, getting frustrated with the younger two but she's a good girl she's a very good girl and um but I also don't want to give her the name I'm gonna give her the name Hermione because even like JK Rowling is trash I will like I will say that, but Harry Potter also saved my life, and J.K. Rowling already hurt me uh, by taking away my childhood hero, like, I'm not gonna let her take away that story, like, the story's good, and just keep her name, I guess. Hermione is an old name. It is also from ancient Greece. So, it's uh, Helen of Troy's daughter. So, I'm going to give my older twin the name Hermione. And then... My younger twin. Ah, she's also great. She's... She's... Trying to figure out who she is. And I definitely remember being there. She kind of likes to be a little punky, kind of. But... Well, she was a little punky. But now she's starting to go a little bit more, um, not emo, uh, but uh, I, uh, seen maybe, I don't know. I don't like labels in general, but when you're in middle school, it, oh, the twins are 11 by the, 12, 12, by the way. And they are in 6th grade, so middle school, so it's all that drama. And 6th grade has a lot of drama. I remember 6th grade, and quite often, um, they'll come to me with problems, and I will just look in my old journals and be like, yep, I was, I was exactly here. So with cut with uh K 
Okay. Yeah. I'm a color K. I think. Because she is a mini me. I think she might be mini me. Because so many of the arguments that we have. Uh, arguments I had with my dad. And I'm just. I should have listened to him. But I didn't. I didn't trust him. So you. But you need to trust me. Because like. Yeah, I don't like being tell old this either, but just listen before it's before you learn the hard way, which is a big thing of parenting. Oh my gosh, just the concept of oh, please listen to me before you learn the hard way. And there are so many every time someone goes flying. Especially the five year old, um, Red. She's at this really invincible kindergartener phase. So she's still about around the like, I can just jump off the stairs or like I can jump from the couch to whatever i can climb this and she's at a very tumbly stage and it's just like so often it's like i can see exactly how she's going to fall and i can see exactly how this plan she has is going to hurt her and so i tell her red don't do that because it's going to hurt you and then she's just like, I'm going to do it. And I'll tell her exactly what about her plan is going to go wrong. And I I will tell her exactly why she is going to regret it. And she's like, but I'm still going to do it. And then she is crying. She had to learn. She didn't listen to me when I told her you are going to tumble headfirst into into uh, the wall if you try somersaulting at that angle. But she had to learn that having kids is weird because sometimes you just. They're gonna learn. Wow. Like I said, sorry. I'm tired. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. It's a day that comes with a whole bunch of different feelings. Um, yeah. I uh, love the song Macy's Day Parade. That was what I sang as a lullaby tonight because I love my green day and I love my cynical commentary but if you I'm going to sing I don't know if anyone wants me to sing but I'm going to sorry not sorry Today's the Macy's Day Parade Night of the Living Dead is on its way With a credit report for duty calls It's a lifetime guarantee Stuffed in a coffin 10% for free Red light specials at the mausoleum. Give me something that I need. Satisfaction guarantee.
empty to you. What's the consolation prize? A economy size, dreams of hope. When I was a kid, I thought I wanted all the things that I haven't got. Oh, but I learned the hardest way. And then I realized what it took to tell the difference between thieves and crooks. Oh, lesson learned of being young. Give me something that I need. Satisfaction guarantee Cause I'm looking for a brand new home One I've never known And where it goes Yes, I'm looking for a brand new home One I've never known Cause you know that's all that I wanted. And now that I finished, I realized mid singing that I got some of those lyrics wrong. But you could still kind of get the concept. It's very much calling out America for the fact that one of the biggest Thanksgiving traditions is the Macy's advertisement uh just the two hour long advertisement down on um, New York City and this year it was on NBC exclusively through P and Peacock so we watched the bootleg version on YouTube because which meant we didn't get to see all the Broadway shows. Which I'm a little sad about that. Because I love. I love Broadway. But. We watched it for free anyways. And it was. We had to see Bluey. Because Bluey was in the. They had a Bluey float this year. But the irony is not lost on me. That. It is. The. Get, like just so much capitalism like blatant capitalism but we got to see Bluey and that was exciting because we love Bluey in this house um not just Red either uh Red does love Bluey but I love Bluey, and twins love Bluey, and Sandra loves Bluey, and Dave loves Bluey, because Bluey is just a really cool, like, just a fun show. They got the cool Australian accents, and Bandit and Chili, who are the mom and dad, are just such relatable parents. Like, we watched an episode a few days ago where Bandit and Chili, the parents, were both passed out like on the couch and the floor and the kids come down and they're just like, it's time to play with us. Like, you've got to play with us. And they're just like, no kids, we've got bad headaches and uh, everything. And like, is that because you were up late at the New Year's party last night? It's like, oh, yep, we were. And like, you were dancing on our cousin's table. <laughs> it's like, like, they're just so hungover. Just, they have to deal with their kids. <laughs> it's pretty good, because I haven't actually been hungover, because I don't drink. Um, very often, but, like, yeah, 
stuff and let them like I have to parent right now and I just can't <laughs> like oh it's it's a fun show it's so relatable we and my trot gain of thought just went away um I'm really obsessed with the owl house right now too this might just be a cartoon showdown. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just gonna go maybe another 10 minutes. And if you want to listen, and you can listen. And if not, then I don't blame you. And... But, um, uh, yeah, so... I am so tired. I'm going to try going back to bed in a little bit, but I think it might be time. It might be time to go back to bed. 21 minutes is, I think that's a good time for these. So, I think I'm going to try going back to sleep. And... See you tomorrow night, I'm sure.